Hello, and welcome to Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Andrew Fanko, a freelance translator whose specialist subject is Great Britain at the Winter Olympics. Emma Harris, an English tutor who will be answering questions on the radio and television sketch shows, Goodness Gracious Me. Patrick Buckingham, a solicitor. His subject is the Renaissance King of France, Francis I. And Dan Sheehy, a cataloguing assistant whose specialist subject is the High School Musical Trilogy. Our four contenders are about to take the short but daunting walk to the black chair, where they will answer two minutes of specialist subject questions that they've hopefully prepared for, followed by two and a half minutes of general knowledge questions with no idea what's coming up. The prize, a place in the semi-finals and a step closer to becoming mastermind champion. We wish them well. So, let's ask our first contender to join us, please. Your name? Andrew Fanko. And your occupation? Freelance translator. And your specialist subject? Great Britain at the Winter Olympics. The achievements of the Great Britain and Northern Ireland team at the Winter Olympic Games. In two minutes. Here we go. In 2018, who became the first British competitor to win a second Winter Olympic gold medal? Yarnold. Yes, Lizzie Yarnold. At the inaugural Games in 1924, the Scottish father and son, Willie and Lawrence Jackson, were part of the British team that won gold in which... Curling. Yes. At the 2002 Games in Salt Lake City, the biathlete, Mike Dixon, performed what role for the third Winter Olympics in a row, making him the first British competitor to have done so? Flag bearer at the opening ceremony. Yes. At Sochi, Jenny Jones became Britain's first ever Winter Olympic medalist on snow by taking bronze in which snowboarding event? Slope style. Yes. What was the name of the musical arranger who reduced the time of Bolero from 17 minutes to 4 minutes, 28 seconds, enabling Jane Torville and Christopher Dean to use it for their gold medal winning routine in 1984? Stuart. Yes, Bob Stewart. During the 20th century, Great Britain's best performance at a single Winter Olympics was winning four medals, including a gold. What was the host city of those games? Chamonix. Yes. Who coached John Curry and Robin Cousins to figure skating gold medals at the Games of 1976 and 1980, respectively? Fassi. Yes, Carlo Fassi. Which ski resort hosted the Games when a British team, captained by Carl Earhart, won gold in men's ice hockey? Garmisch Partenkirchen. Yes. Tony Nash and Robin Dixon won the two-man bobsleigh at the 1964 Games after a rival competitor sportingly lent them a bolt from his sled to repair theirs. Which country did he represent? Italy. Yes, at the 1948 Games in San Moritz, which British figure skater won the first of her two Winter Olympic medals? Altweg. Yes, Jeanette Altweg. After winning bronze in the men's snowboard Big Air in Pyeongchang, who was quoted as saying, I'm 28 years old and I've maxed the limit of what my body can be scared about. Morgan. Yes, Billy Morgan. Despite having her funding cut in 2005, prompting people from her home village to hold a canoe marathon to raise money to help her get to Turin, which British competitor won silver at the 2006 Games? Rodman. Yes. Yes, Shelley Rudman. In 1936, who competed in Nordic Combined at Garmisch Partenkirchen and then Modern Pentathlon in Berlin, making him the only Briton to take part in both the Winter and Summer Games in the same year? Ledgard. Yes, it was Percy Ledgard. And Andrew, you got them all right. And at the end of that round, you've scored 13 points. Thank you very much. And our next contender, please. Your name? Emma Harris. And your occupation? English tutor. And special subject? Goodness gracious me. The award-winning cross-cultural radio and television sketch show that starred Sanjeev Bashkar and Mira Sayal. In two minutes, let's go. The television version of Goodness Gracious Me opens with a sketch set in the offices of Delhi Electronics, where staff are unable to pronounce what long-winded English name of their new colleague. Jonathan. Yes, the television version of Going for an English is immediately preceded by a spoof cinema commercial for what English restaurant in Bombay? Uh, the Mount Batten? Yes, Mount Batten's. What's the full name of the Indian football team that Gurdip Bogle has just left in order to play for Southall United? Pass. Although a young boy has achieved four A's at A-level, his exam results are just not good enough for his father because he has been awarded only a B in what fifth subject? Um, physics? No, classical studies. In Back Where They Came From, what's the title of the fusion cookery programme where the hosts sample a traditional English cream tea covered in garam masala? East meets West. 
No, East eats West. In the Christmas special, the recurring character who insists that everything is Indian changes the title of the carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, and in his rendition, it becomes O Little Town of... Bangalore. Yes. When the phenomenal success of Asian writers is discussed in the book programme, one of the guest authors, Indira Pakistani, is thought to be which British novelist in disguise? Uh, Salman Rushdie? No, Geoffrey Archer. What's the full name of the shy, unassuming bank clerk who adopts the superhero identity of divorced woman? Um, pass. The shambolic hotel Faulty Turrets, which offers only views of the desert from the bedroom windows, is said to be in which Indian state? Uh, Jaipur? No, Rajasthan. In Chana's Angels, the three police academy graduates who are taken away from culturally inappropriate police work and given domestic chores instead are Sabraj, Jiljit and who else? Pass. The programme, Asian Gladiators, which features a contest between the pharmacist and the biscuit packer, Auntie Bimla, is said to be broadcast from an indoor arena in which area of northwest London? Uh, Hounslow. No, it's Neesden. And Emma, you had three passes, the uh, three police academy graduates taken away from culturally inappropriate police work are Sabraj, Jiljit and Khadija. The full name of the shy and assuming bank clerk who adopts the superhero identity of divorced woman, Asha Kumar. Mm -hmm. And the uh, full name of the Indian football team that Gurdi Bogle has just left is Real Madras. So at the end of that round, Emma, you've scored three points. Yeah. And our next contender, please. Your name? Patrick Buckingham. And your occupation? Solicitor. And your specialist subject? Francis I of France. A Renaissance king of France, a warrior and a patron of the arts who was a contemporary of Henry VIII. In two minutes, let's go. Which king of France died without sons in 1515, leading to Francis inheriting the throne? Louis XII. Yes, after his accession, Francis continued with ongoing military campaigns in Italy and in September 1515 captured Milan after victory at which battle? Marignano. Yes, after a series of meetings with Pope Leo X in December 1515, Francis signed what concordat which established a new relationship between the papacy, the Gallican Church and the French crown? Concordat of Bologna. Yes, in 1519, Charles V became Holy Roman Emperor after defeating Francis in the imperial election held in which city? Frankfurt. Yes, Francis's personal emblem featured what animal with the motto Nutrisco ex extinguo, interpreted as I feed on the good and extinguish evil? Salamander. Yes, the Field of Cloth of Gold, a lavish summit where Francis met Henry VIII in June 1520 was orchestrated by which of King Henry's advisers? Cardinal Wolsey. Yes, Francis employed the Italian artist Giovanni Battista Rosso and Francesco Primaticcio to decorate which chateau to the south of Paris in a lavish style? Fontainebleau. Yes, who served Francis as Constable of France, defected to Charles V after a dispute over inheritance and was killed at the sack of Rome in 1527? Charles, Duke of Bourbon. Yes. What name is given to the posting of anti-Catholic broadsheets in several towns in 1534 that resulted in Francis ordering a series of arrests and executions? Fair of the placards. Yes. After Francis's eldest son died unexpectedly in August 1536, which member of the prince's retinue was executed for his alleged murder on the basis of flimsy evidence? Montecuccoli. Yes, the ordinance that Francis issued in 1537 requiring that a copy of each book published in France to be sent to his royal library was named after which city? Montpellier. Yes, Francis died on the 31st of March 1547 at which chateau in the Ile de France region? Rombier. Yes, which humanist and scholar served as secretary to Francis and was later appointed the master of his library? Boudet. Yes, it was Guillaume Boudet. And Patrick, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've scored 13 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Your name? 
Dan Sheehy. And your occupation. Cataloging assistant. And your chosen specialist subject. High School Musical Trilogy. Yeah, the trilogy of Disney musical films in two minutes. Let's go. Troy and Gabriella, played by Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens, first met at a New Year's Eve party where they're called on stage to sing a karaoke version of what song? The start of something new. Yes, in High School Musical, Troy is torn between appearing in the school musical and playing for the basketball team. What's the name of the team? Wildcats. Yes, the two songs from High School Musical that were nominated for Primetime Emmy Awards in 2006 are Get Your Head in the Game and which other? Breaking Free. Yes. While Sharpe, played by Ashley Tisdale, is at the swimming pool with her friends in High School Musical 2, what does she say is the theme for the Lava Springs Country Club Summer Talent Show? Redemption. Yes. What's the real name of the dog that plays Sharpe's pet boy in High School Musical 2 and 3? Manny Little Pickles Ortega. Yes, in the first film, Zac Efron's vocals were mostly overdubbed by which other actor who also co-wrote the song Get Your Head in the Game for the film soundtrack? Drew Seeley. Yes, what's the name of the cologne worn by Jimmy the Rocket Zara, Troy's understudy in High School Musical 3? Babe Magnet. Yes, across the three films, the character Chad Danforth wears several different T-shirts with slogans on them. What slogan is on the shirt he wears while singing What Time Is It when the students break up for summer at the beginning of High School Musical 2? I majored in vacation. Yes, the musical production that students audition for in High School Musical is composed by the character Kelsey Nielsen, whom Sharpe describes as a sword off what? Sondheim. Yes, in a scene set in the school library, Chad tells Troy that his mother kept a picture of which musical theatre actor in their refrigerator as part of one of her crazy diet ideas. Michael Crawford. Yes, during the song Stick to the Status Quo in the first film, characters reveal secrets about themselves. Zeke tells his basketball teammates that he loves to bake and says, someday I hope to make the perfect what? Creme brulee. Yes, after coming top in a Disney Channel fan poll, which actress and singer made a brief cameo appearance, credited as Girl at Pool at the end of High School Musical 2. Miley Cyrus. Yes, when Troy is promoted to assistant golf pro, I've started so I'll finish, in High School Musical 2, he's given keys to his own golf cart, and the cart's number is the same as the number on his basketball uniform. What number? 14. It is 14. And Dan, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you've scored... 13 points. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with three points is Emma. And in joint first place with 13 points each, Andrew, Patrick and Dan. So now, the general knowledge round. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account. And the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, then we're going to have a tie break. So let's ask Emma to join us again, please. So, Emma, you start with three points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Starting now. How many millimetres are there in a centimetre? Um, ten. Yes. Many of the temporary hospitals set up in the UK in 2020, including a site at the Excel Centre in London, were named after which healthcare pioneer? Florence Nightingale. Yes. Bushido, often translated as Way of the Warrior, was the code that governed the behaviour of which military caste in pre-modern Japan? Well, samurai. Yes. The poem by Alexander Pope, entitled An Essay on Criticism, includes the line, To err is human, to forgive... Divine. Yes. Nuns called Sister Julienne, Sister Monica Joan and Sister Francis are characters in which television drama series that began in 2012? Call the Midwife. Yes. What's the name of the American investor who was dubbed the man who broke the Bank of England after he made around a billion dollars from sales of pounds sterling during the 1992 Black Wednesday financial crisis? Pass. In 1999, the annual Academy Awards ceremony was moved from Mondays to which day of the week? Uh, Saturday? No, Sunday. Which of the English classics was won in June 2021 by a horse called Adea, giving the jockey Adam Kirby his first win in the race? Uh, Royal Ascot. No, Epsom Derby. Which artist and cartoonist, a regular contributor to Punch magazine, provided the illustrations for the original Winnie the Pooh books and the 1931 edition of Wind in the Willows? Pass. Which Australian folk pop group had UK number one hits in the 1960s with The Carnival Is Over and I'll Never Find Another You? Uh, the New Seekers. Not quite. It's The Seekers. Postcodes beginning with the letters DD cover addresses in and around which city in eastern Scotland? 
Dundee. Yes. In 10-pin bowling, when all the pins are knocked down with the first ball, it's known as a strike. What term is used for a similar outcome when all the pins are knocked down, but with two balls? Um, pass. The music now used for the German national anthem was written by which composer born near Vienna in 1732 who wrote the tune for the Austrian emperor's birthday in 1797? Mozart? No, Joseph Haydn. The adjective tonsorial refers to which occupation? Sorry, could you repeat that, please? The adjective tonsorial refers to which occupation? Um, monk? No, barber. Oh. In Northern Ireland, which motorway runs east-west between Belfast and Dungannon? Uh, pass. What was the basic unit of currency used in Spain immediately before the introduction of the euro? Peseta. Yes, in a famous speech in 1941, I've started so I'll finish, President Franklin D. Roosevelt spoke of four freedoms. Freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want and freedom from what? Um, pass. It's fear. Freedom from fear. <laughs> and you had four other passes. In Northern Ireland, which motorway runs east-west between Belfast and Dungannon? It's the M1. Oh. A spare is the term used when all the pins are knocked down, but with two balls. The name of the American investor who was dubbed the man who broke the Bank of England, George Soros. And the artist and cartoonist, a regular contributor to the Punch magazine, provided the illustrations for the original Winnie the Pooh, it's E. H. Shepard. So, at the end of that round, Emma, you now have a total of ten points. And next up, let's have Andrew again, please. So, Andrew, you start with 13 points and you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. The system of paying income tax and national insurance directly through deductions from an employee's wages is known as PAYE, or pay as you... Earn. Yes. In football, what name is given to the horizontal top part of a goal that connects the upright posts? Crossbar. Yes. Which former political editor for both the BBC and ITV joined the presenting team of Radio 4's Today programme in 2015? Davis. No, Nick Robinson, a person who hides malicious intent under the appearance of friendliness, is said to be what animal in sheep's clothing? Wolf. Yes. What's the common name of the shrub Artemisia absinthium, which is an essential ingredient of absinthe and gives the liquor its distinctive flavour? Uh, Perno. No, Wormwood, a spell of unusually warm weather around the feast day of St Luke is sometimes known as a St Luke's summer. In which month is this feast day? October. Yes, which American singer had three UK hit singles in 1969 with I Don't Know Why I Love You, My Sharia More, and Yes to Me, Yes to You, Yesterday? Stevie Wonder. Yes. What Arabic word meaning forbidden describes something that's not allowed under Islamic law? Halal. No, Haram. The actor Johnny Briggs, who died in 2021, aged 85, played the businessman Mike Baldwin for almost 30 years in which television series? Coronation Street. Yes. What's the name of the mouse in the series of children's books written and illustrated by Lucy Cousins and first published in the 1990s? Stuart Little. No, Maisie. What river named after the Dutch royal house flows west for more than 1,300 miles through southern Africa before emptying into the Atlantic Ocean? Orange. Yes. What name is given to the straw-coloured liquid component of blood that includes blood clotting factors and carries suspended red and white blood cells and platelets around the body? Plasma. Yes, the collective term murmuration normally refers to a flock of which garden birds common in the British Isles? Starling. Yes, which Spanish surrealist directed the films Belle du Jour and The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie? Dali. No, Louis Bunuel, the name of what style of sleeveless dress is sometimes informally abbreviated to the word pinny? Pinafore. Yes. When it was completed in 2012, which 95-storey London skyscraper became the tallest building in the UK? Chard. Yes. A wyvern is a legendary creature that features in heraldry. It's usually described as a two-legged variety of what other mythical beast? Dragon. Yes. What political strategy involving the redrawing of electoral boundaries to favour a particular party is named after a governor of Massachusetts who endorsed one such system in 1812? Gerrymandering. Yes, a horizontal line above a Roman numeral indicates that its value is to be multiplied by what number? Ten. No, one thousand. And Andrew, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you now have a total of 26 points. Thank you. And next up, let's have Patrick. Patrick. 
So, Patrick, you start with 13 points. The score to beat, as it stands, is 26 points, and you've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What name is given to the traditional black pirate flag that usually depicts a skull and crossbones? Um, the Jolly Roger. Yes, the term a baker's dozen refers to what number? 13. Yes, the ancient moral and religious philosopher known in his native China as Kung Fu Tzu is usually referred to in English by what Latinized name? Confucius. Yes, in music, what name derived from the Greek for color is given to the scale of 12 pitches ascending or descending at intervals of one semitone? Um, semi-brief. No, chromatic scale. What's the name of the church in Montmartre in Paris, which houses La Savoyard, one of the heaviest bells in the world? Sacre-Cœur. Yes. Which American television series, first shown from 1963 to 1967, starred David Janssen as Richard Kimball, a man on the run for a murder that he didn't commit? The Fugitive. Yes. In tennis, what three-letter name is given to a point that has to be replayed or a serve that is taken again because the ball hits the net before landing in the correct service box? Let. Yes. The sisters Ursula and Gudrun Brangwen appear in two novels by D.H. Lawrence, namely The Rainbow and which other? Women in love. Yes. What's the more common name for an intercalary or bisextile year, which usually occurs every four years? Leap year. Yes. In April 2021, which American singer topped the UK albums charts for the seventh consecutive time with a re-release of her second album, Fearless? Um, Madonna. No, Taylor Swift. From 1930 until his assassination in 1961, Rafael Trujillo maintained political control of which Caribbean country? Dominican Republic. Yes, the adjective ovine refers to sheep. What corresponding adjective means relating to cattle? Bovine. Yes, what name derived from a Hindi word for bandage is given to the cloth strip that's wound around the lower leg and was widely used by soldiers during the First World War for support and protection? Uh Tunicage. No, putty. The BBFC, originally established in 1912 as the British Board of Film Censors, changed its name in the 1980s to the British Board of Film what? Classification. Yes, in a theatrical expression, what is said to walk when the company's pay is due? The play. No, The Ghost, the online fantasy role-playing game released in 2004 and set in the fictional world of Azeroth is called World of... Warcraft. Yes. Which playwright and poet became the first president of the newly formed Czech Republic in 1993 and served until his resignation in 2003? Harvell. Yes. The Edinburgh School of Arts, founded in 1821, became a university in 1966, named after two Scotsmen. One a goldsmith, the other an engineer. What's the name of the university? Harriet Watt. Harriet Watt University it is. And Patrick, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you now have a total of 27 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Dan again, please. So, Dan, you start with 13 points to score to beat. To get through to the semi-finals is Patrick's 27. You've got two and a half minutes now on general knowledge. Here we go. In the opening lines of a traditional nursery rhyme, which character sat on a wall and had a great fall? Humpty Dumpty. Yes, the rock-steady style of music which evolved from ska in the 1960s and is regarded as a precursor to reggae originated on which Caribbean island? Jamaica. Yes, which element has the chemical symbol I? Iodine. Yes, John Proctor and Abigail Williams are two of the main characters in what 1953 play by Arthur Miller? Death of a Salesman? No, The Crucible. By beating Swansea 2-0 in the Championship playoff final in May 2021, which West London Football Club won promotion to the Premier League for the first time after nine previous playoff attempts had failed? Brantford. Yes. What's the English name of the Japanese animation studio whose feature films include My Neighbor Totoro and the Oscar-winning 2001 film Spirited Away? Studio Ghibli. Yes. In 2016, which art gallery in Northern England inaugurated a biennial sculpture prize worth £30,000, which was won by Helen Martin? Yorkshire Sculpture Garden? No, Hepworth Wakefield. Which Western television series that ran in the UK from 1964 to 1973 stars James Drury as the foreman of the Shiloh Ranch in Wyoming? The Waltons. No, the Virginian. In 2011, Kim Jong-un succeeded his father, Kim Jong-il, as supreme leader of which Asian country? North Korea. 
Yes. Which Italian scientist is credited with isolating methane gas in 1776 and inventing the electric battery in 1800? Fermi? No, Alessandro Volta. An annual cricket match at Lord's, first played in 1805, is contested by Eton College and which other public school? Harrow? Yes. What three-letter name derived from a Polynesian word for fowl is given to the extinct ostrich-like bird that once inhabited New Zealand and stood up to ten feet tall? A moa? Yes. The Decalogue is an alternative name for which set of laws given to Moses in the Bible? Uh, the Ten Commandments. Yes. Which opera by Richard Wagner, first performed in 1882, features the character Amfortas, the ruler of the Kingdom of the Grail? Uh, Das Rheingold? No, Parsifal. On a clothing care label, a circle with a cross through it indicates that a garment should not be put through what chemical process? Bleaching? No, dry cleaning. What name is given to the blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood from the capillaries and unite to form a vein? Arteries? No, venules. Which small island off the coast of Northern Ireland is the location of Bruce's cave, where legend has it, in the 14th century, Robert the Bruce hid and observed the tenacious spider that inspired him to continue his military campaign against the English? Rathlin. Rathlin Island it is. And Dan, you had no passes, and at the end of that round, you now have a total of 23 points. <laughs> So, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, with 10 points, is Emma. In third place, with 23 points, is Dan. In second place, with 26 points, it's Andrew. And in first place, with 27 points, Patrick. Which means that he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Now, if you would like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind. And you can follow us, of course, at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. I'm feeling excited, elated. Pretty amazing that three contestants actually scored a maximum in their specialist subject, but I knew then it was down to general knowledge, which I think is how it should always be on Mastermind. The Fugitive. Yes. Women in Love. Yes. Warcraft. Yes. I used to watch Mastermind when I was a child in the Magnus Magnuson days with my parents on a Sunday night, as I recall, and my parents are now unfortunately passed away, but I'm wearing my father's cufflinks tonight. I hope they will be some sort of lucky charm, and clearly they were. In first place with 27 points, Patrick. So I certainly shall wear them in the semi-final. <laughs>